Hello my friends, to Grey Inificent and in this channel I will be showing you how to mix Ilford Darkroom Chemicals So when you get the chemicals, of course, inside, behind, on each bottle, inside here, there are instructions on mixing dilute concentrate uh, 1 plus 9 with water uh, how long it should the resin coated paper how long it should be developing in this or fiber coated paper how long at 1 plus 9 dilution with water in 20 degrees celsius where that's i think 68 degrees fahrenheit uh, resin coated paper is sits in there for one minute and fiber coated fiber based paper sits in there for two minutes And of course, one liter, one liter in American, let's see, in American about 34 ounces, fluid ounces, is enough to develop 100 resin coated paper or 50 fiber based sheets of paper. That's 8 by 10 inch, that's 20.3 times 25. 0.4 centimeters or 20 by 25 if you want to count it. If you're doing smaller prints, you just calculate it yourself by uh, area size that you need to develop. So as you see here, this little bathroom I use also as a little dark room, uh, temporary setup. So, so let's get to diluting. What you will need is a big measure, one of the bigger ones that can reach 1.2 liters or 42 American ounces, fluid ounces, or 42 English fluid ounces as well, but the Amer US fluid ounces reaches higher than the English fluid ounces. Yeah, the world has weird measuring systems. And a smaller one like this, because if you need to measure out 50 milliliters, Well, this one wouldn't be that hard, but less than 50, it would be hard. But it would be on the very bottom here and it would be harder to measure out. 50 milliliters on here, that's uh, American US fluid ounces would be about less than two fluid ounces. It's quite up higher, so you can measure out more perfectly. So how the system one plus nine works, if somebody doesn't know how how to calculate it, how much chemicals, how much fluid, or the 1 plus 14, how it works. Uh, how to calculate it easily is, let's say, per one liter of chemicals, or one gallon of chemicals, or one fluid ounce of chemicals, however you want to call it, you add another nine liters, or nine gallons, or nine fluid ounces, whatever measuring system you use, of water. So if you use one liter of chemicals, you add nine liters of water. If you add half a liter of chemicals, you add four and a half liters of water. You do it by half each side. So I will be doing uh, half, of, half a liter of the developer. So I'll have ready in my container. So. Another way to calculate it is 1 plus 9 equals 10, obviously. So if you want to make half a liter or half a gallon of diluted chemicals, you divide it by 10. So that is half a liter divided by 10. That's 50 milliliters, half a gallon, I don't know. You'll have to calculate it yourself. So for half a liter of diluted chemicals, we will need, that's 500 milliliters divided by 10, we will need 50 milliliters of this concentrate, multigrade developer concentrate. So we will be measuring out 50 milliliters. And of course, if you only have one measuring thingamajig, it is best to do them in order as you would be developing the paper, because if you would contaminate the developer with the fixer, you could destroy it completely, or the stop bath. So the best way to do it is as you 
switch the paper from developer to stop bat to fix bat, obviously it doesn't hurt them in that order. So if you don't want to worry about any con bad contamination, you do it in the same order. First you do the developer, then you wash this out completely, then you do the stop bath, you wash it out completely, and then you do the rapid fixer. So let's do it together here. So I'll be doing it one plus nine. So one plus nine is 50 milliliters, as you see, freshly, fresh, closed bottles, never used. I hate this type of seal that you can't, that there's no lip to start the peeling process. I splashed chemicals all over myself. Well, I got some chemicals all over me, so uh, now you know how not to open it. Always an educational video, right my friends? All right, so let's measure out 50 milliliters here. There we go, we got approximately 50 milliliters in there. We pour it into the bigger one, just like that. And remember to close your developer tightly right away. And now, to have half a liter of developer, we add 450 milliliters of water. Or just add water until we even it out at 500. Just, of course, watch out so you don't go over that, because spilling it back out, you'll be wasting developer. So if you go a little bit over, it won't matter that much. Also make sure your water isn't too cold, also not hot, because if you want it almost ready to use, then you should have it at room temperature. I assume 20 degrees is near your room temperature. If your room temperature is 68 or 70 degrees Fahrenheit, and you keep your chemicals in room temperature, then you basically never have to worry about measuring their temperature because they will be at room temperature and that's the best temperature uh, to use them at. Of course, I hate it when the water changes temperature as it's flowing. That's always annoying. And I would assume that's about it. If it won't be perfect, a hot bath, a short hot bath won't Huh. We put it at our first try, right at 500 there. So, so we got a developer ready there. Of course, 500 is how much I measured out for my trays because I will be doing small, tiny prints. Like uh, that's four by four by six, something like that. Size prints for the beginning because I'm a starter as well in dark room specifically. So I measured out that in my trays, 500 milliliters will be just perfect to cover the print and all that. So of course you will need any type of container that you want to pack your developer in or chemicals. Uh, these are perfect because when your developer is in contact with oxygen, it will go bad over time. So what these bottles do, when you fill it up and you squeeze them and then lock them, they create suction and that uh, slows down a lot the process of the chemicals going bad. bad. So yeah, so we will put this into this container. Of course, don't forget to mark your containers later on so, so you know which one's which. You don't want to stop your, you don't want to start your photo paper development from a fixer bath or a stop bath or anything like that. So, and then you squeeze it, you squeeze it tight. And close it and it takes up less room. And it has suction in there, slowing down the uh, going bad process. And now, of course, we wash the Next, we will be doing the Ilfo stop. This is 1 plus 19. So, of course, like we calculated before, 1 plus 19 is 20. We want 500 milliliters, so we divide that by 20. 
that's 25 milliliters of chemical and 475 milliliters of water for a half liter of Ilfo Stop. So that's what we're going to do. And of course, Ilfo Stop also has a tag at the back here uh, in 20 degrees Celsius at 1 plus 20, 1 plus 19. That's 30 degree, uh, 30 seconds bath. Uh, it's enough for 60 resin coated papers. That's 20 by 25 centimeters. That's 8 by 10 inches sheets of paper or 30 fiber based uh, papers or you could use this for film all as well. 1 plus 19, 30 second bath is good for 15 rolls of film of 135 format, 36 frames each. So if you got 120 format, that's uh, that makes yeah 120 standard rolls uh, is as well 15 rolls because by area they're the same 36 frames on a 35 millimeter or standard size 120 film is always the same area so uh, it's enough for 15 rolls if you would want to use this for film developing you could I never use a stop bath I never felt the need to use a stop bath but I will try one day see how that works out all right so like i said 25 milliliters of this so let's get going we don't want to spill this on us all over again all right so let's hope for the best and my secret nail got wet and it's not as hard anymore this is orange in color stop bath i didn't know that would be orange in color well i never had in contact with stop baths, so didn't know. All right, so 25 milliliters. That's quite hard here because there is no mark for 25 milliliters on here. There is only 20 and 30, so we will have to aim for in between. The world in between. Let's put this on some flat level here, so we can. There we go. I'd say that's about it. Let's close this up right away. Just like this. Looks like piss. Well, on the other hand, if someone has piss this dark, that means you got a health problem. And so we can make sure all that development, all that stop chemicals go through. You can add water to this little thing because you're adding water to the main container anyway, but just to get it rinsed out and completely through. So now we add water up to 500 milliliters. And of course, as well, trying to get the temperature quite right. You can always speed it up or cool it down later, but all right, let's give it a try. We are at 550. That's not that much of a problem. So 550, we got our stop bath, and we got another container, nice and clean. This container was used before uh, for a developer, but for black and white photography, uh, the cleanliness doesn't matter much. I heard for color photography, you shouldn't be mixing chemical bottles, but this was used for, yeah, that was used for a color developer. But as well, cross-contamination, this is stop bath, and whatever tiny piece of microscopic grain that you could find here from the old developer, this will destroy it and this won't have any effect on this at all. So the other container we put into, we use black and white Sinistil developer. So as well, it was a bottle from the black and white developer and we put in another black and white developer. That's not gonna hurt it at all. And besides, I cleaned them out very good. And I never allowed any developer to go bad in them, so that's another thing. If you don't allow developers or chemicals to go bad in your bottles, they won't be creating any bad residue. And again, we squeeze it down, just like that. And we are not marking them yet, so we have to keep them in order. Developer, stop that. And now for our rapid fixer. The rapid fixer you can do one plus four or one plus nine. 
let's see what the instructions, what the times show us. At one plus four, 20 degrees Celsius, develop, uh, fixing bath takes two to five minutes with film. Uh, well, half a minute with resin coated paper and one minute on fiber based paper. And that's enough for 24 rolls of 35 millimeter, 36 frame film or 120 format film. So that's 24 rolls. One liter of diluted solution is for 24 rolls or 80 sheets of eight by 10 inch uh, resin coated paper or 40 sheets of fiber based eight by 10 inch paper. Yeah, so, and it always says about storage on the bottom here. So it's in full tightly capped bottle. It's 24 months for this one, six months and half full tightly capped bottles and seven days. But from what I read online, the seven days or the one day for the developer, for the diluted, that's for if it's left in the tray, you got a large area of oxygen working on it. So in a tray, it would last that long. If you pack it like this, suction sealed and all that, it should last quite a while. And you could always test it before using it if it works fine. So if it starts working uh, not as well as you would like, you just replace it. And with film, you just test the liter film with the strip. You would be seeing that in another one of my videos when I do it. So we'll be doing this as well, one plus four. And we'll be doing more of this because I will be using this uh, for film as well. So let's open it up. My nails are gone. There we go, let's not get it spilled all over us again. There we go. And we're pouring 500 milliliters divided by five, 100 milliliters of this. Or why mix it twice? We'll just divide it on by two containers. So 200 milliliters, one, we're making one liter, and then we'll divide it in half. Or we'll make, as I got one of these, for film, just in case, because we always spill some. This reaches up to 1.2 uh, liters. So we'll do 1.2 liters divided by five, 1,200, that's uh, 240 milliliters, right? Times five, that's 1.2, yep. So 240 milliliters of this, or 1.2 liters of diluted. So we get 240, there we go, just about right under 250 because that's the line here on this. We put this to the side, and now we have to fill it all the way up with water. Let's hear water. Uh, let's keep it like that. And fill it all the way up with water, up to 1.2 liters. I'm going to have to use that smaller one to add it to the top because I can't add that much keeping it under an angle. So I don't think we'll have to use this to fill it up to the rest. There we go. All right, shut out the water. And now we're just gonna divide it for two bottles or we'll put half a liter into this, just like we planned to for our paper development. And then we'll put uh, 700 milliliters, 0 0.7 liter, into the smaller one. So because this one will be used up much faster because I will be doing a lot of rolls of film going through this. So this one will be going down a lot faster. I don't have to worry about pressure sealing it because it's not going to last too long with me. So 500 milliliters into this, we have to leave 700 in there. So let's get this game on. Yep, and we got an even 700 left. All right, so now we press it down and we seal it and the rest into this. This is, this is a liter bottle, one liter bottle, so. And of course, when we were filling our remaining fixer to the bottle, 
we reached the half hour limit on our recording camera and it disconnected stupid but oh well stupid laws but so we got this filled out remember to label them so we got here in order developer stop at fixer label them so you know which one is there and as well you could always mark how much prints or rolls for fixer you used up you used in that and of course it's best to test it every once in a while or every time you want to develop something uh, if it's still good so thank you for watching hit that like button it helps out the channel and subscribe for more great videos hopefully they're great and hopefully they're a bit educational so take care my friends